Okay, we're looking at another knife today, or should I say this evening, tonight. We are looking at, of course, the Browse Blades. Here's the little case. If you don't know, it's what they come in. Uh, this is the Division Acid Stonewash version. You get your little card there, certificate, and uh, tells the date the knife was made and the number. It also has the number on the knife here, of course. Um, this knife, size-wise, we'll do a quick comparison. There is the Riate heels. Um, it's a big knife. That's why I got it. And am I happy with it? Yes. I've been wanting this knife for a long time. And I just never did get it. Because I was always saying, well, I don't know if that thing's going to actually feel good in the hand. That's what was actually kind of holding me off on this knife. But I have to say the ergonomics are great. It feels great in the hand. Could it be any better as far as feeling it anyway? Sometimes the pocket clip, you know it's there. So, but really not. It's not, it don't create a, you know, a huge hot spot. But it's, you know, could be a little better clip there, you know. Just one that went straight down would eliminate that. One that didn't have his fries in it. But anyway, um, I want to kind of get through this review kind of quick. Uh, carbon fiber on this, just super smooth. Looks super good. Give you a close up of that. There is the blade. And to be honest, I could not even tell you without looking what steel that is. Is it D2 or. Big knife, very ergonomic. Again, the carbon fiber is just super smooth. Um, feels great in the hand. Blade centering is a tad off. As you can see there. So I can tweak that a little. Flips, good. It don't, it's no rocket ship on flipping, don't get me wrong, but it flips good and smooth. Um, lock up is good on the knife. And most of the time, it's, it's very easy to get closed. Very smooth knife. Um... I would give it a a seven out of smoothness out of ten. You know, it's not no super 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 smooth knife, but it's it's smooth. It flips good. So now I'll make this quick. Any issues with the knife? You may ask, like. Tell me the truth about this knife. Well, truthfully, I'm happy with the knife because I was impressed with how good it felt in the hand. And when, as soon as I got it and opened the box and failed of it, I was like, yeah, I'm glad I bought this knife because that's what was holding me off on this knife. Um, and I've been wanting this knife for like two years almost. So feels great in the hand. I like the design of the knife. Definitely unique. Um, two little twerks, of course. The blade centering is not perfect. Secondly, 
get a close up here. The carbon fiber right here, it's not dead in line with the titanium. See, there's a little bit of a rise in that. And you will see that right there. So it's not perfectly flat with the titanium there. Which is, uh, you know, something you might want to consider. I don't think it would make a huge difference. It's not a high-end custom. But still, for the price of this knife, you're going to be picky when you get it. So, what else did I find out that struck me odd about this knife? Well, I was got it, and the blade, the sharpness is good decent um but i got down here at the the start of the blade or the end of it i guess you could call it the starting and it's not sharp at all right in there and i will show you why you flip the blade over and there is that point and you could see there about a quarter inch that it's been flattened a little bit it's not sharp at all and the reason why is because of this so you don't cut your finger no that does not stick above but it's just down in there close enough to where if you got your finger in there you can feel it so that's why that's done good idea save me from doing it or somebody else so you don't cut yourself accidentally but really awesome knife is it as good as the reloader mm, yeah it's right there with it super light knife it is on the inside I'll show you this the titanium has been sculpted on the inside and cut out. You see that shining back in there? It's the carbon fiber. So you could see how it was framed and cut out to make the knife lighter. Really a light knife. It is lighter than the heels. Riate heels. It's lighter than this knife. And it's a much bigger knife. So you're getting a big knife that's lightweight, feels good in the hand. So it's a win-win for me. Um, I'll tweak on the blade centering a little. And uh, will I pack it every day? Probably not, dude. It's so big. Um but then again, I'm sure I'll pack it a couple times, but my everyday carry is usually my paramilitary or my heels. And this again is the acid wash. I like that. And uh, that's cigarette. So have a good one, and we will see you next time. I will be making... Some more reviews here fairly, fairly soon. I got some knives on order. And uh, would I recommend this knife to you? Yes, if you like carbon fiber, you're going to love this knife. Me, I like carbon fiber, but I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of it. But then again, it's lightweight, man. So you're, you know, you got to weigh that in there. Um, it's a big knife and it's lightweight, and you know, you can open it that way too. So flipping's good on it. Cool looking knife. Great feeling knife. Super smooth handles, and. Uh, We'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a good one.